Hi everybody, Joe Peretta of His and Hers Health and Fitness, and today I'm going to share five common muscle building mistakes. When it comes to building muscle, we often look to famous bodybuilders, athletes, or celebrities that we want to emulate or strive to look like. Doesn't everyone want to look like The Rock or Captain America? Unfortunately, you often won't see the same results because those programs were customized and designed towards their unique body and situation, not yours. Especially as we age, it's important that we understand we need more recovery time for our body and use the most effective exercises that will help boost our hormone levels so we can make the gains we want. There are many fitness legends that continue to see success as they aged, so it's important that we learn from them as well as science so we can build the muscles we want, shred the fat we don't want, and have the energy levels we had in our younger years. I wanted to make a real quick list of five common mistakes we often make when we try to do this on our own. Mistake number one, lifting too heavy. We all want to be the big dog in the yard. First question guys usually ask each other is how much are you benching? As a certified trainer, we even learned if you are looking to improve strength, you try to lift the heaviest weight within a low rep range. The issue with going too heavy is you usually use poor form and run the risk of injury. Now, I didn't say you shouldn't lift heavy weight, but you shouldn't try to set a world record every time you are lifting. If you are just getting started again, form and technique are more important than how many plates you can load on each side of the bar. Mistake number two, using the ROCKS training program. Look, I get this one the most. If he can do it, so can I, right? No one wants to be doing a boring routine. That's why you haven't lifted in the past 10 years. But we can't just go and jump into advanced training routines, especially as we age, because many of those routines are designed for guys half our age. When I designed the triple threat workout, it was specifically tailored for men over 40 and particularly for busy dads who do not have the time to spend hours in the gym. It can be done by anyone just getting started and yet can be challenging enough for even the most seasoned workout enthusiasts. If you haven't already tried it, I encourage you to download your copy right now. I'll go ahead and post this link and it's free. So please download your free triple threat workout. Mistake number three, are you training or working out? While speaking with a fellow coach one day, he questioned me, Joe, are you training or working out? I said, what do you mean? Aren't they the same thing? I still catch myself saying I'm headed to the gym to work out or even offer clients like you workouts, like my triple threat workout, but what he was implying is a workout is usually just something someone does when they walk into a gym and don't really have a plan. It's better than nothing, but there isn't a purpose or reason necessarily behind doing it. When you are training, you have a game plan in place and specific goals you are trying to accomplish. You have a program guiding you, which will help you be consistent, accountable, and able to track your workouts. You need to have a plan and one that is easy to be consistent with. You can't train three days in a row this week then take off for two weeks and expect to pick up where you left off. Consistent training that's flexible when you need to adjust, but one that you can make fit into your busy schedule. Mistake number four, still eating like crap. Congratulations, you're being much more consistent now with your training, but you haven't changed your eating habits. Have you heard the old saying, abs are made in the kitchen, not the gym before? That's because nutrition is the key to building muscle. Protein is essential to repair our muscles, carbs are vital for energy, and healthy fats are fuel for our brains and hormones. All calories are not equal when it comes to vitamins and nutrients for your body. You don't have to be perfect. I don't subscribe to one perfect eating program, but you won't get the results you want by eating pizza and drinking beer every day. I educate my clients on how to make smarter choices, follow a flexible nutrition plan that uses the latest discoveries with intermittent fasting and carb cycling. Does it sound confusing? It has really been made that way, but I strive to keep things as simple and easy to follow. Mistake number five is no mobility or stretching routine. This is another one that I'm often guilty of as well. Our time is limited and we want to get our workouts done as quickly as possible. Before we even start our routine, we're already thinking of what else we need to get done. We have to incorporate mobility and functional training with stretching in our routines. A warm-up doesn't have to be long or elaborate. We just need to make sure we get our joints loose and our blood pumping a bit. 
Here's an easy one. Do five minutes on the elliptical before your training. To save you time, do some post-workout stretching in the shower while your muscles are still warm. Now, many people are starting to opt for those ice cold baths for recovery post-workout. If you opt for that, then make sure you do your stretching beforehand. And that's all I really have today, just a real quick list. And what I wanted to invite you to do is schedule your free success session with me. This is where we can go over the phone for 30 minutes, answer all your health questions, outline a solution. And when you leave that call, you'll feel confident you're headed in the right direction, whether it's you and I working together or I refer you to a specialist in your area. So if there's anything I can help you with, feel free to reach out. I'll message my information below as to how you can get in touch with me or schedule your free success session with me now. Thanks and have a great day.